Before we begin, I would like to announce that I will be attending the 63rd Annual Convention of the American Society of Dowsers, June 8th through June 11th, being held at the State University of New York Adirondack Campus in beautiful Queensbury, New York. The convention will feature dowsing demonstrations and speakers, a metaphysical expo and dowsing bookstore, a wellness center, and much, much more. The Queensbury campus is only 45 minutes north of Albany International Airport, and affordable on-campus housing is available. For more information and to register for this unique event, please visit www.dowsers.org. And now for today's podcast. Welcome to High Vibes with your host, Bill G. At High Vibes, we're looking into what it means to be a fourth dimensional being in an ever-changing world. We hope that by listening to our podcast, you can feel a greater sense of peace and connection as we collectively raise our energetic vibration to the next level. And now for today's podcast. Hello and welcome to Hi Vibes. I'm Bill G and I'm here with Nina and today we're talking about a project that uh, Nina and I have both been working on uh, which we have uh, called the Walt Woods Project but what it really is is an editing project where we're taking the combined works of Master Dowser, Walt Woods and turning it into a textbook for the American Society of Dowsers. Uh, just a little background on this. Walt Woods was a master dowser and teacher for the American Society of Dowsers. He was also a past president of the association. And he created a book or a booklet called A Letter to Robin, which was basically just a response to a letter from uh, a member who would, wanted to know some basic information about dowsing. Now, master dowsers basically up to this point have learned how to douse from other dowsers and it's kind of it was a passed on family tradition but the american society of dowsers is dedicated to teaching people how to douse and so they needed a textbook in order to do this and so walt obliged and came up with this booklet called a letter to robin over the years this thing has been uh passed around across the world and a lot of people use it as their primary text on an introduction on how to do dowsing. And Walt expanded it too. He has like a another booklet for teachers so that they can teach it. He's got a booklet on experimental dowsing, which is things that he was working on with other dowsers. So there were there were a few booklets. There were like four or five of them um, that were all separated, and we put them into one. Yes. So what we did was we compiled it all together because uh, recently the American Society of Dowsers obtained the copyright for all of his material. And so the idea here is to create a comprehensive text for beginner dowsers to be the new foundation of the Foundations for Dowsing course that's taught at the net, the convention of the American Society of Dowsers. And also, uh, if anyone out there wanted to teach dowsing to a group that are interested in learning how to dowsing. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to create a comprehensive textbook that was easy to read, easy to understand, that also encompassed the entire breadth of Walt's work that he provided for his students. So we took on this project and this book is uh, scheduled to release at the American Society Dowsers National Convention, which is going to be June 8th through June 11th, uh, 2023 at SUNY Anirondack in Queensbury, New York. So if you're interested in getting the first hot copies off the press, that's the place to be to get it. What we want to talk to you today is about what excites us about this project. Now, I've been a dowser, an Akashic dowser for 20 some odd years. And I first learned how to douse using the spiritual response therapy system developed by Robert Detzler. Well, that system is a fairly complicated system. It's, it's got a lot of ritual to it, a lot of stuff to it. And, and you really have to be practicing it with it a lot in order to get really good at that. Walt Wood stuff 
is not like that. It gets to the point. It can teach a complete novice right away, like with, with within 20 minutes, just how to, to douse and douse correctly. And that's what makes it so extraordinary. One of the first things that you see in the book when you're going through the book is that this, um, he, he introduces you to the tools and there's not a whole lot of tools involved with dowsing. I mean, you can use a pendulum, you can use what's called an L rod, which is basically just a, um, an, a piece of metal that's bent into an L or you can use what they call a divining rod or, or a Y rod or uh, you can even just use your muscles. You can. There's so many things that you can do that is dowsing. But the what separates someone from just holding a pendulum or holding a pair of sticks and and calling themselves a dowser is the ability to ask the right questions and to be able to uh, program your dowsing so that way will provide you with the answers that you're looking for. And when Bill says program your dowsing, it's a, Walt explains it so well in the book. And, you know, I, I didn't know how dowsing worked. And, and what he talks about is so simple and fascinating. When you're a child and you're learning how to write your name, you have to kind of form the letters. Someone shows you how to do it. You know, maybe take a little penmanship class. And then you learn slowly how to form the letters correctly and how to put them together. And then, you know, one day you write your name and then it becomes just something that you do. And now, you know, when you're older, you can just scrawl your name out real fast and it's probably illegible, but you know, all the letters are there and you've done it millions of times. So it becomes a program that now your brain recognizes as this is my name. And this is exactly how Walt describes programming your system. He says something really fascinating that just blew me away. He was talking about how we have little receptors in our bodies. And whenever electromagnetic energy is available, our bodies pick it up through those receptors. And by focusing on something very specific and knowing what to focus on, which is what Bill was talking about by asking the right question, we can weed out from a million different inputs of information coming from all the electromagnetic radiation around us to pick out just that frequency of what we are asking about. And that is what Walt says makes a dowser. So as you're programming your dowsing, it's important to ask the right questions, of course. So I'm going to read to you a passage from the book, which I think is really illustrates this point to a T. It's formulating useful dowsing questions. So he talks about the three rules of dowsing. An often repeated story among experienced dowsers illustrates the importance of wording dowsing questions carefully. One time, a veteran dowser instructor asked his Elrod, to point north during a presentation. Instead of pointing to magnetic north, it pointed to the audience. Surprised, he asked again with the same result. While he was discussing some possible causes with the audience, a hand went up and a man said, my name is North. The dowsing was 100% correct for the question asked. I suspect the dowser then changed the question, asking for the rod to point to Earth's magnetic north, and then got the correct answer. This proves a very important point about being precise in your question. So the three rules of asking the right question are, rule number one, be specific. What do you want to know? This includes the what, where, why, when, and sometimes instructional information being related to the question. If you have a million inputs of electromagnetic energy coming at you at any given time, how is your hand supposed to make those minute mo little movements in reaction to exactly what you wanna know if you are not very specific? And I mean, super specific, all the way down 
to all your little nibs and nuts. <laughs> Rule number two is to use only words, phrases, and conditions for which you and the dowsing system have agreed upon the meaning and for which there is an agreed upon method of dowsing response. For example, if you ask the question, does my car need gas? Well, the answer is always going to be yes, whether you've got a full tank or an empty tank, because an, your car runs on gasoline. So the answer is yes. So, But also, gas can also mean air, as in all the air around us. Does it need that? Yeah. Yeah, because because uh, an internal combustion engine is 50% fuel, 50% air. So you really have to be very precise in your wording. And the more vague you get, the more crazy your answer is going to become, or you're going to become very frustrated with your answers because sometimes you'll be right and sometimes you'll be wrong. Rule number three is make the question a definite request for information that exists somewhere. So avoid asking for an opinion. If your question involves an opinion of the past, present, or future, it must be compared to an agreed upon reference or condition. For example, if I ask you, are you strong? Your answer would be based on what you think I meant by the word strong. Did I mean strong physically, mentally, emotionally? Did, do you have a strong perfume? Now, let's apply rules one, two, and three, and I'll ask the question again. Are you strong enough right now to pick up this one gallon carton of milk? Could you give me a correct answer to that question right now? Another thing that many dowsers are asked to do is to tell the future. The future may or may not be written depending on your belief system, but when you're dowsing in the moment, the future is not now. So you could be asking, will I get the job I just interviewed for? It can only read the energy at the moment. So it's only going to give you an answer related to things that are already known now. So you have to be very careful when asking your dowser to ask to, to douse the future, because oftentimes the energy will change in that moment, just because you asked the question, just because maybe they said something and it put another idea into your mind and that changed the whole situation, the whole energy surrounding it. And then the very next day, that answer that your dowser hesitantly gave you because they don't want to douse the future usually <laughs> was wrong because even just your conversation and your thoughts about it change the energy for when they when that job interviewer said yes or no our third partner in crime in this uh this venture that we had this editing venture is Joan Nathanson now, Joan has been a, uh, a so affiliated with the American Society of Dowsers for a very long time. And for a long time, she was the editor to the, um, the American Dowser, which is the, uh, the quarterly journal that uh, the, the organization puts out every, um, every four times a year. So uh, Joan uh, actually knew Walt. She, you know, she, she knew him, uh, knew him personally and actually attended some of, some of his lectures, which is something Nina and I did not do. So Joan, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. So one of the things that we've been uh, just talking about is how much we really appreciated how basic uh, Walt's work was. So that way it was very approachable for the basic student of dowsing. Yes, I think this is really so. Um, the thing that was difficult for me was that uh, I was shown how to douse when uh, I, by someone who had just seen it for the first time, but didn't really know much else about it. And so it was about three years. I just was experimenting on my own and uh, fumbling along and, and sort of developing my own ideas slowly and, and, and sort of offhand. And then uh, I can remember very much the, the uh, coming to the first American Society of Dowsers convention uh, in Vermont. 
And suddenly there were 1,200 swinging people. <laughs> Pendulums going here and L road rods. I'd never seen L road rods before. And, and uh, it was just amazing. And uh, then I uh, was at a table having uh, uh, lunch with Walt Woods, who looked like a very ordinary, very nice older gentleman, and and uh, <laughs> then found out that uh, he had been dowsing for 50 years already when I met him. And uh, I remember just feeling so small and <laughs> wondering, you know, like, <laughs> should I even stay at the table? But he was very reassuring, as he is to all, or was to all new people, that, uh, you know, uh, you can learn, uh, you can do this. It's not that hard. Uh, once you uh, get your uh, cl programs clear on what you're boundaries are and what you're asking uh it's it's very easy to do and i found out he was right and i was thinking just of, of that again last night and realizing that that i now have 28 years of experience behind me <laughs> and now i'm one of the oldies <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Walt was was really very good, and and uh, you know he he was calm and he was relaxed, and it didn't matter if you made a mistake. People make mistakes, and that's all right. You just carry on from there. It's not bad, and uh, you know keep track of what you're doing. Practice, practice, practice. You know, like you've heard that when you're beginning playing piano and things like that. It's the same thing. And uh, so I would, uh, you know, not uh, discourage anybody from uh, starting to read the book once it's in print. And, and uh, I think they'll find that it's, it's uh, easy to follow. And uh, the spirit of Walt comes through in the way that he says things. He's very gentle. And uh, he like he's not ordering you to do things. He's just saying this is one way that I've developed. It'll probably you know grow larger as I hear from more other dowsers like you. And so uh, you know it's it's an adventure and it's fun. And that's the thing that that uh, really I remember from the kind of person that he was. He wanted to see new people start and and catch the the well the extent uh, to which dowsing can make a huge difference to anybody's life and to the life of communities, to the life of nations, and maybe to the <laughs> survival of our planet. Who knows? Uh, I, I certainly see that as, as being, uh, you know, a very important part of how we uh, can find out what to do in this world that's changing so fast and, and uh, is presenting us with problems that we've never dealt with before so what about the um book itself that you found fat, uh, uh interesting or expansive as you were doing the editing or or when you've read it in the past well <laughs> one thing that was very reassuring you know like i'm kind of getting on in years myself i have a birthday coming up in a couple of weeks <laughs> And uh, I'm sort of reminded that I'm, you know, getting to be one of the old oldies. And, uh, you know, you think, oh, dear. But as I've been working on the manuscript, uh, you know, the memories from back when I met Walt are coming through loud and clear. You know, I can see him sitting at the table. You know, I can hear his soft voice. I can see him you know, swinging his pendulum and, you know, just casually explaining something, you know, nice and slowly, and you can ask questions. So uh, that part has been uh, really good. Uh, what I did realize was that uh, there was quite a bit of the book that I had never bothered to read. <laughs> you know, I got partway through and then I got sidetracked. So I'm finding it, you know, as somebody who's been doing it now for a long time, uh, uh, I'm I'm learning things that I'm really glad to be learning. Uh, so it's something that, you know, also has its appeal to people who have been dousing in different fields. I'm I'm uh, I'm quite pleased, you know, like it sort of said, you know, come on, 
<laughs> do some more hunting, do some more exploring in, in all of the new areas that we could apply dowsing to. Like yeah. even in water dowsing, uh, now th there need to be all, you know alternatives to uh, finding water because our aquifers are getting dried out. And, it, you know, they will recuperate in 10,000 years or so, but that might be a little too long for our grandchildren. Yeah. So uh, we can douse about what's the best system and where can we find the things we need and who might be the best people to work on it. We can use dousing for that. Absolutely. Um, and and to speak on that, too, I've been dowsing for, for 20 years. And as I was going through the book, I was like, wow. I I've, I knew things intuitively, but I'd never heard it said in such a way with such clarity that Walt brought through and yeah. just simple, which I really, I really appreciated the simplicity. Yeah, yeah. It And, and you know, he, he always said, you know, like uh, kids have no problem learning to douse. And uh, you know, there's some other people that said things, you know, except as you become like little children, <laughs> you, you won't get it. <laughs> so uh, I think that's the, the, the uh, you know, th that it's easy, approachable, fascinating, and, and something that is going to make a huge difference to life. Uh, you know, my life, you know, transformed when I learned that dosing was possible. So what about for the person who is the self-studier, maybe someone who wants to learn dowsing but doesn't necessarily want to sign up for a class? Is this the book to go to? Is this like the go-to text for that? Uh, it's it's very clear. Uh, it, it starts at the beginning. Uh, you know, Walt was a, a scientist. He taught uh, uh, people who were going to become radiology technicians at a community college. And he knew that you have to be really clear or, you know, things won't work. And uh, he, he was really clear and, and straightforward. And I think the work that we're doing now is um, making sure that uh, anybody can uh, uh, understand it very clearly because like Walt isn't on hand in the same way that he used to be. I think he still is on hand. Like I've been feeling his, uh, you know, keep going, girl. <laughs> Even when, you know, you're trying to keep several things in mind at, at one time and, and uh, you know, figure out what might be the best way to, to sharpen something up because language changes. And that's what we've been doing uh, in the editing, making sure that uh, the, the words that are used are the common words of today and tomorrow, because uh, when Walt first did them, you know, it's a long time ago now. Right. <laughs> and the language sneaks up and changes on it uh, and uh, on us. And, and uh, we, we need to have this ready for the next at least 20 years. <laughs> Not only that, but there were a few booklets. There was not just one, you know, and they were written at different times. So uh, incorporating them so that there was a, a timeline in a way of, of how to go about doing the beginning tasks and then the intermediate and then the more advanced things that he was teaching. Um, I, I really hope that people can move easily through the beginning phases, through the advanced phases with the work that we've done. Yeah. Well, the other thing that I see too is that like he's, he's almost uh, created um, a, a, a developing template that we can use. Like if we see something and we realize, well, Dowson could be applied to this situation. Yeah, we need to develop a program. And of course, he shows us how a program works and why you do it this way to make it easy. You know, you get it straight in your head uh, first and you write it down so that on the days you're having poor recall, you can check again. And, and uh, then you can go on and uh, add to the basis that he has given us. Uh, I, I think it's a fantastic tool. 
And uh, I'm, I'm so glad that uh, everyone is working together, the ASD and Walt's family. And uh, it's been fun to see the names of many other dosers that I met back at the time that I first met Walt too, and uh, remember conversations with them. And, you know, like the dousing family uh, has been really, really important to me, even though I live a long way away from many of the people that I know. Uh, it, it's, a, it, it's a universal family and uh, it keeps on going. And it, <laughs> it's, it really made a difference to my life. Again, for everybody listening, the book is called Letter to Robin by Walt Woods, and it will be available through the American Society of Dowsers website on, for the, through their bookstore, but it will also be available on Amazon uh, as a, as a print-on-demand uh, paperback copy, and it will also be available as an ebook. So for those of you who prefer, prefer that medium, that medium will be available to you as well. Um, what a project that we're also working on is a companion to that, which is a digital journal. Uh, no word yet on the release date on that, but we're very excited that that is uh, also in the works. And that's going to also help the self-study student uh, use the, the text to for their own personal curriculum and to for daily practice and make that a whole lot better for themselves. And that that I think is so smart. You know, I'm I'm old enough that I get tired of thinking of all the new programs and new opportunities there are. But the young people don't feel that way. This is marvelous, and uh, they're used to using uh, uh, <clears throat> different uh, uh, mediums that way. And I I think this is wonderful. What's really nice about it too is uh, it can be used over and over again. So. And like a, a paper journal that that you fill out, although I mean, that's wonderful, too, because then you could save it and then go back and look at, at what you've done. You know, this can also be saved in that manner, but then you can just erase the whole thing and start over again. So it's kind of a perpetual thing um, that we thought would be nice. I, I'd say the trees. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> So thank you very much for, for being here today. Thank you, Nina. And thank you, Walt Woods, wherever you are, yeah. about this, <laughs> to providing us with this wonderful project. And I hope everyone out there is just that as excited was, as we are. That's Walt saying, yes, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joan is swinging her pendulum and and communicating that Walt is indeed here. Yes, he is. He is. And, and actually, we have... I have felt his presence the whole time that we've been doing this project. And I know, Joan, you have. And, I absolutely have, yeah. And, and I've never met him, and yet I feel like I know him really well. And and I think that putting this together in a more, in a, in a way that he couldn't do with with the limited, with the limited technology that he had uh, at the time, you know, I think he's, I think he'd be really happy. And so uh, everybody out there, get excited about this. There is going to be a, a comprehensive basic textbook that'll take you all the way through the basics, all the way into the more advanced dowsing practices that you can then use a, as a springboard to a, a career in dowsing or just something that you're going to do in your daily life. And we hope that you're as excited about it as we are. So thank you very much for joining us and we will see you next time. Thank you for listening. For more information about Bill and Nina G, please go to www.vitalbioenergetics.com. See you next time.